one of the problems that we face is the fashion industry is one of the biggest contributors to the global climate crisis. Fundamentally, the people that are producing a product in the fashion industry, they don't really have the information, they're desperate for it. I think everyone really wants to try and source and supply in a better way. There is a demand there. My name is Maria McClay. I work at Google Cloud and I run their fashion and beauty team. I spent nearly my entire life working in retail fashion and I loved it. But what I realized is that the industry was changing and it was really at an inflection point where technology would fundamentally revolutionize the entire industry. I'm graduating in May. I've been experimenting with denim samples. And so what was the challenge? With the project, it's, it's probably the fabric sourcing trying to, you know, balance sustainability and functionality. It's funny, when you go to a store, you just buy something and yeah. you, do, you don't realize how much is actually behind yeah. it, right? How many decisions that yeah. you need to make. Stella McCartney brought deep industry expertise. The WWF brought incredible conservation knowledge. And Google brought technological experience as well as unique data points from our Google Earth engine. We developed the GFIE, the Global Fiber Impact Explorer. So it'll tell you all your different types of materials, yeah. where it was sourced from, and then you would have your risk rating. Is it low, medium, high? How can I actually decrease my environmental cool. impact? It's a web-based, intuitive, environmental data platform built to enable more responsible sourcing decisions at the raw material stage of the fashion and textile supply chain, where the data is the most opaque. I think this tool is a great answer for other people to really gain that transparency and understand the impact on where they're sourcing. Our hope is that this tool can empower people to invest in communities as they're moving towards regenerative farming. For example, we're working on really interesting pilots in Turkey for regenerative cotton farming. And if you can have incentives and work with the people that are supplying you your raw material, it can have a really, really big positive impact on the environment. We are in our cotton farms. It's been in our family for, I guess, five generations now. In a farm like ours, you grow two crops a season. Regenerative agriculture requires that you don't do anything in that second season. And the next season, the cotton grew as well, if not better than the conventional way. We all have to realize and face the facts that we are in danger of future generations not having the quality of life that we've been so lucky to experience. So we have to all work together across all industries and we have to take responsibility, we have to act now.